from parachuting with the Army Golden Knights jump team and to lighting up the scoreboard for Boston College basketball, we've got Ayla Brown next on the Chris Top program. The Top, broadcasting live to at least three people on Spreaker.com. Thank you for calling the Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder Hotline. If you have ADHD, please press 1. So you do have ADHD. Is this correct? Please press 1. Now that we know the... Now that we know the... It is only necessary to make your selection... It has been established you do have ADHD. Please... Okay, dude, seriously, if you want help, you're going to have to stop playing with a keypad. Oh, look, it's a shiny ball with bells on it. Thank you for calling the Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder Hotline. <laughs> Portions of the day's programming are reproduced by means of electrical transcriptions or tape recordings. <laughs> you can either the tech and the crystal program. I am... The Chris Top Program. And I'm the one and only Chris Top, broadcasting live from our lavish home studio here in sunny Clarksville, Tennessee, with an ocean frickin' view. How the hell are you doing, world? Sup. How are you doing? Doing pretty good. It was funny this morning. I didn't, get, I didn't tell you this story. Oh, I, no. I got up at like 8 or 7.30 or something stupid, and um, I'm stumbling through the house, and... Maggie's wanting out, so I thought, well, I'll just let her out real quick. So I open the door, and I crack the door open, and she starts to bolt out like she normally does, and she stops cold. And she's got this look on her face, and she goes, <sighs> and then runs back. So I immediately slam the door. <laughs> so I'm thinking there's a buffalo or an armadillo or something outside the door. Uh-huh. You know, I'm kind of nervous. I'm like, okay, what if there's a dude in a ski mask or worse, a hoodie? Right? What if That's a dude in even hoodie? worse. It's like standing outside the door, so I like take a deep breath. And I reach down, I grab the doorknob, and I yank the door open, and I look, and there's nothing there. Now I look down, and there's two packages. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, so she, the packages that were delivered freaked her out. The packages? Yeah. So <laughs> Maggie acts all big and bad, but she's afraid of postal deliveries. She's a, I think she's more afraid of anything than Abby, because when, when I walk in front of her, or when, I, when she's sitting there, and I'm sitting there, and I reach over to get something, and I'm like reaching over her, she gets really anxious, and she starts hissing, but if I reach around mm-hmm. her, she's fine. I think maybe she had a traumatic past or something. I mean, she killed a squirrel and, and drug it up beside the house, but then she's afraid of, like, mail. No, oh, no, maybe, they, maybe she just had a weird past. We, we don't know what happened before we had her. You think maybe she was attacked by the, the post- Postal delivery guy? I don't know. There could be. I could. If I sat here and By the thought. Mail, I should have said mailman. Where did I, I get that? If I, I don't know. Yeah. If I sat here and thought of it, I could probably find a legitimate reason why she would be afraid of that. Oh, of hi, packages. Maggie. Speaking of Maggie. Yeah. Here okay. comes Maggie. So if I ever want her like, to get her away from me, I'm just going to grab like a pack, like an envelope. Be like, ooh. <laughs> Stop. Why would you make her mad? <laughs> she hissed at the guy. <laughs> why would you make her scared? She's scared. She scares me sometimes. I mean, she'll attack me out of the blue. I'll walk by her. She'll be like, I'm like, whoa. Because you're walking in front of her or behind her. I mean, you're walking behind her. 